Now we'll talk about division with real numbers and I'll go straight to the main point. The main point is this. Dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying and write this into your notes here. Dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of that number. Dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of that number. Let's look at some examples here. If I have 9 thirds, 9 over 3, remember that the fraction bar really means division. So this is 9 divided by 3. Well 9 divided by 3 is the same thing as 9 times the reciprocal of 3. And 9 times a third ends up being 3. Okay, so just take note that dividing by 3 is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of 3. Okay, another example. 8 divided by 2. Well dividing by 2 is the same as 8 being multiplied by the reciprocal of 2. And 8 times the reciprocal of 2, which is a half, 8 times a half is 4. Now these examples are too easy. We already knew that 9 divided by 3 was 3. We don't have to rewrite it like that. And we already knew that 8 divided by 2 was 4. We don't have to rewrite it like this. Uh, in these cases where it's really simple. But this concept is very important and very useful. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that number. And that really becomes useful when we have to divide by a fraction. Watch this. What if I have something like this? 6 divided by 3 eighths. The answer to that is, is probably not readily apparent. But remember that dividing by something is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that something. So dividing by 3 eighths is the same as multiplying by 8 thirds. So I can take this division problem, 6 divided by something, and rewrite it as a multiplication problem, 6 times something. And here we go. 6 divided by 3 eighths is the same as 6 times 8 thirds. And this is fairly easy to do. We just multiply 6 times 8 thirds. Remember that 6 is the same as 6 over 1. So we're just multiplying two fractions, and we multiply across the top, and we multiply across the bottom. And this one's really easy, because we note, it, note here that the 6 and the 3 can reduce. And let's go ahead and, and do that first. It makes the multiplication easier. I can divide both of those by 3. 6 over 3 becomes the same as 2 over 1. And so I just have 2 times 8 over 1, and that's just 2 times 8, which is 16, and that's my answer. And again, it's not immediately obvious, at least not to me, that 6 divided by 3 eighths will work out to 16. But if we, we remember that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction, this problem becomes a lot easier to deal with. Here are a couple of additional examples. What if I have 7 divided by 4 ninths? How would I do that? Well, Dividing by 4 ninths is the same as multiplying by 9 fourths. So this is 7 times 9 over 4. And again, remember that the 7 is the same as 7 over 1. And you don't have to write that little 7 over 1. I'm just trying to make it clear. So I'm multiplying these two fractions. So I multiply across the top and across the bottom. 7 times 9 is 63. And 1 times 4 is 4. So I have 63 over 4. And that doesn't simplify any further. But this is simpler than my original problem. Okay, another example. 12 divided by 4 over 11. Well, that will be the same thing as 12 times 11 over 4. And this does simplify some. The 12 and the 4 can both be divided by 4. So that reduces to a 3 over a 1. So I just have 3 times 11. So my answer is 33. Again, the main idea here is that dividing by 4 over 11 is the same thing as multiplying by 11 over 4. And remembering that fact, that dividing by something is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, 
remembering that fact helps us to simplify these expressions. And that's almost always the case when you're dividing by a fraction. Just flip the fraction over and multiply. Dividing by a fraction is almost always made easier if you just remember that one concept. And that is the main point, that one concept. Dividing by something is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal.